I want to spend a couple of minutes now talking about a great exercise that can be used uh, for the back patient. Uh, it's a higher level exercise, requires a fair amount of stability and strength, so it's not something I would introduce to a patient who's just joining us with a lot of pain, acute pain or spasm, but rather as they're getting better and they're moving on with their care, they would work on some core strengthening. And for patients that really enjoy doing sit-ups or crunches on the floor, um, this is a great option for them using a, uh, an exercise ball or a Swiss ball. So why don't you kind of walk your feet forward, and that's about right, and have your hands behind your neck. All right? And then come all the way down into extension and back up into a crunch. This is an exercise that's called a crunch, but the best part about doing a crunch on the ball is that when she comes back down, she's actually putting her spine in a little bit of extension and then coming back up into a flex position. So it gets a nice balance of extension and flexion. If she was on the floor doing it, she would not be able to fall into a little bit of an extension pose because the floor would be in the way. So it really enables patients who enjoy crunches who are still suffering a little bit with their condition to get back to doing an exercise they enjoy and it will not cause any harm to their, to their spine and to their problem. Repetitions is the key, maybe 10 to 15 repetitions per set, um, and uh, we would uh, reassess after that. So this is the uh, sit-up or the crunch on an exercise ball. Thank you.